This is the number one reason most eBay K40 lasers fail. What is it? What can you do about it? How does it work? Well, stick with me and I'll explain. Let's jump into it. Okay, welcome back. We're here at the K40 laser. We have the front cover open. This is the potentiometer or variable resistor, whichever you wish to call it, which controls the intensity of the laser beam. What we're going to talk about in this video is how this works and why this is the central point of failure in most cases for an eBay K40 laser. So first let's talk about what's happening here. We have three wires going to the potentiometer, a blue, a red, and a green. Now the blue wire is 5 volts hot, the red is your uh, bias voltage coming off the uh, potentiometer, which is a variable voltage, and green is ground. Now I'll get into showing you how this all works a little bit more in a second, but I want to finish talking about why this is a central point of failure for the eBay K40 series. Now inside of a potentiometer you have a bunch of wound wires with a wiper that goes across. Let's see if I can't do an overlay in the upper corner to give you a better idea. Now most people, because of the smoke and everything else, have this sitting out in a garage or in other damp environment. Moisture for any type of electronics is bad, and especially in this case, because this is just a cheap Chinese potentiometer. And what happens is, especially when voltage is applied, it gets warm inside there, uh, you know, attracts moisture, cools off, the moisture condenses on the windings, and over a period of time, usually they rust out or break, or this goes into a short state, so it's not working. So therefore, I have many people write me and say, Mr. DIY3Dtech.com, you know, my laser isn't working. It all moves and everything, but the tube doesn't fire, and it's relatively new, so the tube shouldn't be bad, but the tube doesn't light up at all. And right here is your problem. More than likely, this has gone bad inside. And on the outside, it can look perfectly fine. Replacing this is an easy task, and in a future video, I'll show you how to replace it. But for right now, what I want to do is kind of share with you how this works and how this uh, regulates the power supply, because it's actually a rather simple circuit. So again, just to recap, we have 5 volts on the blue, we have ground on the green, and a variable voltage on the red. So what I'm going to do is I've got a voltage meter over here. I'm going to bring it into frame. And we're going to turn this on, and I'm going to show you how this, this all works. Okay, so we're back. So as you can see, we have the meter set up here. I've got the uh, hot lead connected to the center wiper of the potentiometer, and I've got the ground connected to the ground lead of the potentiometer. Right now, the potentiometer is set at its lowest state, and you can see here, I'm at a scale of 20 volts, and this is reading 0 0.04 volts. So basically, it's almost at a ground state. Uh, so this is the minimum. So the lesser voltage being biased or provided to the uh, laser power supply below, the less intensity you're going to have. Now, when I rotate this, watch what happens as I rotate this. See the voltage increase? because the wiper is turning across the windings until I come up to 5.1, which this is about what it's being loaded with, is about 5.1 volts total across the resistor. Now, one of the things to keep in mind, as I mentioned before, this load, now my laser tube is not firing, so that's important. So whenever the laser's on, this is being energized. When this is being energized, it's generating heat. When it's generating heat, it's attracting the potential of moisture. And this is the big killer of this rather cheap potentiometer. So again, in a future video, I'm going to show how to replace this. It's a simple fix. But for right now, I wanted to show what does this do? How does it impact? Why is it a failure point? So if you're having a problem with your K40 laser, or you want to adapt your K40 laser uh, to have variable output, this is how you can do it. Now, I haven't done it myself. I've seen a number of um, posts on the internet where people have used smoothie boards, even garble and, and other things to pulse with modulate this red wire. Because again, remember, this is, if I turn it all the way back down, this is biasing the power supply with anywhere from a near zero voltage to that of five volts being a full voltage. And this, contr this controls the intensity. So if we give a pulse, a duty cycle pulse of 50%, that's going to be basically 2.5 volts. And if I turn this down here, it's about halfway down around 2.5 volts. And so if we give a duty cycle of 0.75, now I've seen where they've uh, 
fed the pulse width modulation directly into the power supply. I have also seen it where they use diodes to rectify and bridge it into more of a steady with a capacitor, a steady voltage. I think there is a couple ways you could do this. Um, and I'll probably experiment a little bit more with that in the future. Most of what I use this unit for is cutting. So I really don't use the intensity too much. Now over here, I have another one, which I probably will experiment with. That's a 35 watt version of this guy. And so look for that in the future. That's also the one I converted to, to garble in the past. If you look at the playlist. So hopefully you found this interesting and enlightening. If you're having problems with your K40, this is what you should replace as far as the uh, tube not firing, if the tube's okay. And again, it's a very easy fix. Just remember, blue is five volt hot, red is the wiper, and green is the um, ground. Now, maybe your colors doesn't match this. How do you figure it out? Well, basically all the laser power supplies I've seen run in the same scenario, running, you know, do an overlay here. Uh, from left to right of, of ground wiper hot. So, which is actually sort of the inverse of this. The other thing you can do is you can take this meter, hook it up to one of the end terminals and touch the uh, uh, laser power supply. If you get a ground reading, you know that's your ground and you know the center is always the wiper. And then so you know the other is going to be the hot. So very simple fix. Anyways, hope you found it interesting. If you did, hey, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to check the laser playlist. I'll put that in the comments down below. Got tons of videos on the K40 out there. If you have any questions about the K40, hit me up below. And again, in an upcoming video, I'm going to replace this with a much better potentiometer. So, cheers and we'll see you then. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel.